Hello and welcome again. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, and this video is gonna be a short review of the ThinkPad Lenovo, uh, the T570. I have to admit this um, series of Lenovo, the T series, is probably one of my one of my favorites in the Lenovo uh, branch or series. Um, I don't think the other ones are bad, but this one I use the most and I sell the most. But anyway, I needed a new laptop and I went for the T570. You ask why? Well, it has an i7 processor. It has a 265 gigabytes uh, PCI and VMA. So it's pretty, uh, pretty good for my work I have to do. So virtualize some stuff and test everything. So let's see what's in the box. Probably the same with every Lenovo laptop. But let's see anyway. So we have the laptop itself, of course. We have the manual. It's not the manual, but the battery and the charger. So let's see battery it's a pretty small one but I've been told it could be running for six seven hours we'll see in the specs but don't believe it will take six seven hours I'd be impressed if it would if it's small and then the laptop itself now let me just put this down first It's a brand new one, as you can see. So the battery goes in the back, of course. Hope you can see it correctly. There we go. It clicks right in perfectly. It has a neat. Oh, it also has a docking uh, port, as you can see, which will come in handy for my docking station. So let's see. Let's start this side. Now, this laptop comes with uh, the new, I think this is the new USB port, USB-C. I'm not sure I've never used it before. I think so. So, standard USB uh, probably. This one I love. I don't always use this for my uh, identity card readers. It's fun to use, I think. So the back is at the back is nothing, of course. On the other side, you have more USB ports, an HDMI port, a network card, a SD card reader, and a headphone. And the front again, nothing. So um, there is no DVD. If you need optical, look for another laptop. Probably some people use it still, but I never do. So, uh, it feels... That's about 2 kilograms, I think, yeah. Like the spec says. So, it's not much weight for the, this size of laptop. Uh, as you can see, a full keyboard with a numeric keypad. Which comes in handy if you're doing a lot of uh, calculating. It comes again with the double mouse button and mouse track very handy I uh, always use this mouse button um, and as you can see there is a fingerprint reader also if you see it in the video right here above if you want to secure it with your fingerprints so it's an i7 7th generation I hope it will be fast now um, I haven't charged it yet so I can't boot it Oh, right, always see if the keyboard is very good. I think it's a terrific keyboard. It doesn't bend a lot, so that's good. That's very nice. Still has a big uh, border on the button. Integrated camera, of course. 
if you need that for uh, business skyping or something like that what else uh, let's see i'm gonna plug it in oh wait 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 wait, wait. just a sec this one has uh, also backlights for the keyboard all the t models has this and it's if you're working in the dark or you need somewhere to work in, in dark places it's very nice to have it so this one has the backlight on the keyboard which comes in very handy for me often when i'm working late so that's it let me just hook that up for you okay one thing i want to say is the power connector for me the wire is too short always so probably one meter one meter twenty and that's way too short uh, I once had a model that that's very longer uh, I think it was this one was a meter and a half this was a little bit longer too so I could reach a lot more so that's that's a, with a bad thing I think it should be longer but that's a detail from me so don't worry about it if you're fine with it so so I hooked it up uh, on the power grid uh, also provided some more light so everybody can look and see it better um, so let's see how fast it is because this is the 256 uh, PCIe NMV NVMe so let's see Okay, that's that that was fast. Sorry, but okay. Um, oh, that's not correct. Sorry. Why isn't it? Aha, uh -huh, my number key lock. Yes. I know. Sorry, I'm gonna hide it for a minute that was pretty fast so I'm impressed that was a few seconds it booted and there we go so the NMV NVMe is pretty fast um, so you will have a good buy if you do that so let's see I'm gonna hmm the sound I was curious about the sound now let's see the backline backline as you can see it pretty that's fantastic always love that so the track mouse track mouse is uh, normal reaction so that's lays good in the hand let's see that's fine also and let's see we can try to open a YouTube movie and listen to some music or some movie uh, let's me connect to just a second I switched over to the uh, normal uh, internet browser internet explorer because I don't like the edge sorry uh, Microsoft YouTube, let's see. I did youtube.be, stupid. It's gonna go youtube.com. Uh, what can we watch? Okay. Let's go and. David Guetta. I don't know, is it the moon new? No limit in the sky that I won't fly for. Oh. Actually, the sound is pretty good. Okay, that's my internet connection that's not switching over to HD. So don't mind the bad image now. So let's see. So let's go ahead and put it in 1080p. It's a full HD uh, screen, so it should be uh, good quality to view this. There we go. Much better. 
but as you can see my internet is a little bit slow it's on the uh, public uh, access point so don't let me just switch it over to my fast wi-fi okay that will go a lot better let's put it in full screen again are we still in 1080 yes and let's play so that's uh, pretty good i like it it's quality of the sound is perfect i can't give any reason why that's not good so the wi-fi connection uh is with let's see I accidentally put it in French, so don't mind it. So let's see, it's a Intel 8265. So it probably goes to 800 and more. Sorry about that. So I have an 800. Yeah, it's going 800, uh, 780 megabit per second. So that's a very good stable internet connection. Okay, um, I'm gonna shut it down and show you uh, how to open the laptop. So, um, I'm gonna open it up because I wanna see if I can uh, connect an extra SSD disk on the SATA port uh, because it's an NVMe disk, uh, should be able to, I think, hope so. So, and I also want to expand my memory. Um, so I will have to see if it's clear. I have to unscrew these screws and see it to disconnect or, or pry it loose very gently and don't break anything. So, um, I don't know why, but I always had trouble with this. It's not handy if you want to change it. So I don't know why they close it up like this. They have a reason I haven't looked it up yet. Even, uh, so you have to remove the battery, of course. And what I found, what I forgot was, if you can see it, the T570 comes with the SIM, this model comes with the SIM card reader. Uh, so you can place in the SIM card and then you can go on the road and always be online. So that's handy if you or a salesperson or, or just a lot on the road and you need internet connection so I unscrewed every point uh, there's a safety feature that you can't the screws won't come out so it is a feature that you don't lose them it's very that's nice feature now um, surprisingly the cover came loose Pretty easy this this uh, model. Uh, I started at. Let me just show you. I started at this end here in the back. Just find something soft. You can sit in, uh, put in the very uh, slot here, and then you just uh, one just went around and it came loose very easily. Just this way around and then finish up at this side. Now the back is a little trickier. You have to be very careful because it's a tin. A uh, very small part of the plastic here, so be careful. So let's see. Should come off now. What I forgot. Okay. Always look. Okay. See. Oh, see the screws won't fall out. It's a safety feature. That with a little plastic. I don't know if you can see it here. With a little plastic. Anyway. They won't fall out. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, we have a problem. Well, I have a problem. Just, just show you. Okay. So obviously, this is the internal battery. You have an internal battery and a second battery. So that's why they can keep it 
small, I think, if you call it. So uh, you have the cooling for the processor for everything. You have your wireless card here, your battery, your memory slot one here, and an extension for the second slot. I thought it was 32 gigabytes uh, that was possible to expand to. And here is the hard disk holder. Now I thought it would be empty, but it's not. So I'm a little bit surprised. So something under here now? No. So that's what's this? This is a port here. It's another port here. So I'm gonna see what this is. Let's see. I don't I know what it is, but how it's mounted in there. Okay. It's moved the gun loose very well. It's a little mounting point here. Okay, you didn't know that. So why? So they mounted the guard here. And apparently I don't have mm, a lot of experience with the NM and VME cars. So I thought it was a card on the motherboard like this slot here. And that this was free for another SSD disk. Which to my surprising which to my surprise is not. So that's a little bit disappointing for me. I didn't like don't like it. So I have uh, okay, so that's the inside of the um, laptop. Not much to it. Well, that was it. Uh, the review of the laptop T five seventy. I want to thank you for watching and if you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll uh, try to answer it.